so, 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 so very many people have been asking me about my line art brush. Today we're doing a video about it. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai. I'm Kai, and today we're back doing another digital art tutorial on the channel. Hope you boys and girls have been enjoying them. Uh, we're doing my, 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 my brush today. Because I said, like I said, so many people have been asking me what brush I use, and I just... There's so many of them. I was like, I gotta make a video about it. I gotta make a video about it. So we're making a video about it today. I mentioned it in the past before, but I wanted to have a specific video just on it so I could just link people to this. Um, so when you open up the program, you usually, you know, you usually have this airbrush. That's the default, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what we're gonna do is hit this little button up here, and we're just gonna go down one to it. it might not be down one, but you're just gonna go down until you find the, the brush that says basic five size. And that brush is the is the brush that I built my brush off of because I just think it looks really nice, especially for line art. But you can see off the bat there's a couple problems with it, like this unnatural kind of fade off here. This is too thick and whatnot. So let's go ahead and fix a couple of these things here. Um, the first thing I want to do is I want to change the diameter because um, it's too big right now. It's too thick. The default's 40 and it looks like that. That's way too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to uh, 10. To start off with, much thinner, still kind of thick, especially for line art, but it's fine. Depending on the style of line art you do, uh, it, it'll vary. But this, we're making my brush today, since you guys always ask me about that. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, actually bump this up to 15 instead of 10, because I do. I usually do 20, but I'm gonna do 15 today. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and through all of these settings here, there's a couple different things I need to uncheck. So we're gonna go to flow and uncheck flow, because we don't want any flow. Um, now we're also going to go to size, and this little curve determines the fall off of the brush. You can see it there at the top. It determines the fallout of the brush. So if I do like this, then it's going to fall off like super quickly. When I when I stop pressing down, um, it's going to be like super quick. If I pull this up, it'll be a longer wisp tail, which looks much nicer as you can see. If I just like stroke that just like really quickly, really fast down, then it's it's much nicer. Uh, than it was before. Now, if I kind of screw this up and put another dot in here, if I click in here and just put another dot, uh, you can get some really weird effects like that, which I don't like. So you can fix that by going ahead and just dragging these off of the edge of the side of the canvas, and they'll just get get out of your way. Um, so that's cool. So I usually leave this somewhere about right here, uh, and then I usually just draw with that because it looks nice. I like the fallout off that. It looks really nice and natural. We'll go ahead and scroll on down, make sure nothing else is checked. Make sure nothing is checked, no strength here. And then down here in flow, we're also gonna undo enable pin settings and then opacity, we're gonna undo pin settings. And then in painting mode, we're gonna make sure that this says wash and not build up. Uh, that is the default though, wash, I think if I'm not mistaken, it was just on that just now. Um, and that's pretty much it. That's literally all I do for my lineup brush, that's it. Um, now recently I've actually been taking this top piece and then pulling it down to about right there And you can see the start of this brush is a little bit more thin But you see this causes a weird problem if you're like moving really fast and you and you go Like if you press harder in the middle and softer it gets thicker which is kind of strange So what I've been doing is I've been doing something like this and then just kind of curving it up just a little bit Just trying to get that to be a little thinner right there So this is what I've been doing recently and I think it looks pretty nice it looks softer and the edge looks more round, which is nice, which I like. Um, and sometimes I don't like the fact that this is very thin because it's kind of difficult to reconnect it. As you can see, it's kind of difficult to just like follow that line through. So what I like to do is I like to pull this up as well. So it's not completely sharp. You see up here at the top, it has a little bit more of a thickness edge to it at the at the end of it. So it's, it's a little easier to get in there and do... Um, uh, and do connections and stuff like that. I can't do it right now because I'm, you know, I can't zoom in right here. But uh, it's it's much easier, as you can see. I just got that almost perfect. But it's much easier to get those uh, nice and 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 sharp and connected. So uh, that's pretty much it. Now people have also been asking me how to save brushes because there's there's this button that says overwrite brush and save new brush preset. Of course, you're gonna want to hit uh, save new brush preset because you don't want to overwrite brush uh, basic five uh, size because you might want to come in and do another type of brush off of that one again later on plus I just don't like overriding default brushes so we're gonna go ahead and hit save a new brush preset preset right there and I'm just gonna call this uh, I, I, if I was gonna save this I'd call this uh, Kai's brush which is the name of my brush actually uh, I call this Kai's brush and then you can actually load the image that you just drew on the scratch pad which was like if I want to do like that then you'll tell that that's your brush or you can add, you can load an actual image. Maybe you made a picture that describes Kai's brush or something, um, and then you can just like do that super easily. Um, or you can, you know, you can load anything. You can clear this, and I can just do it again. I can actually like, like write Kai's. Oh, that's lagging behind. Uh, Kai's brush. Oh, that's terrible. 
Oh, my handwriting is bad right now. Ah, oh, I can't, I can't deal with that. All right, all right, hold on, wait a second, wait a second. All right, that's a little better. Um, okay, so uh, you can just do something like that, or you can just load the existing one, which is fine. Um, but yeah, I would hit save on this, but I'm not going to do that because I don't want to overwrite my other brush. I'm going to hit cancel, but you'd hit save. And then now you can go up here and then find your brush, which mine is right here. It's called the Kai brush. It's not called Kai's brush. I did change that. It's called the Kai brush. And you can see the curve that I have here is a little bit more crazy. Um, so real quick, uh, see if I can undo the eraser. The line I have here is a little more crazy because I like a little bit of the waving. So you can see it has, you can't really see. Oh, well, there's a little bit of it. You see that there's a little bit of a thickness variation here. So some of the parts of it are thick or some parts are not as thick, which is why there's this little, this little weird line here. Um, but yeah, like I said, oh, that should not be on. What's that on for? I don't know. Um, there we go. I just fixed my own thing. Uh, that shouldn't be on either. Yeah, see, sometimes I miss things. Because this brush is a newer one of mine. Uh, yeah, all right. So everything is fine. The diameter on this one is 10. And I didn't change any of the rest of this stuff. It's all the same. So I'm going to go ahead and actually hit overwrite brush because I want to save those. Um, but yeah, so that's my brush. This is the brush that I use for my line arts. This is it's the brush I use to create a lot of the different art pieces that I'm probably going to put on the screen right now. And you can see it's just really nice to go ahead and just do some some line arting with and it's really easy to get in there with and like I said since the edge isn't like non-existent it's it's you can still see there's the end of it right there um, especially if you like press harder at the end right there so it looks really nice I like it it's really smooth and really nice uh, to work with so I hope you boys and girls enjoyed that uh, kind of showcase of my line art brush I will see you in the next one and be doing some more uh, digital art uh, videos very soon. Stay on the lookout for those. But, uh, but yeah, I'll see you in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.